What's up guys, welcome back. Today we have something out that I haven't had on the channel in probably over a year. And it's one of them things that I love shooting, but just don't have a reason to get it out very often. The X Products Golf Ball Cannon. So I did a video on this and the Can Cannon when I first got them, and they've been on the shelf ever since. Well, today we are gonna give this thing the ultimate test. How lethal is a golf ball cannon. So this is the golf ball cannon from X Products. It's actually a can cannon attachment. You just screw the golf ball launcher into the can cannon and it works pretty much the same way. Put your golf ball into the tube, five, five, six blanks. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Try one more, and this time I'll aim a little higher. Oh! Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I don't know if the camera picked that up. It was going right for the rubber dummy's head. At the last second, it curved around it, hit a tree probably 20 feet behind it, and then came back this way. I didn't even know it was coming back until I heard it hit a tree probably five feet away from me. It's right there. <laughs> Obviously, accuracy is a bit of an issue because golf balls are gonna curve and yaw and do all kinds of crazy stuff, but if you could hit the target, it would be devastating. All right, guys, let's see what kind of damage this thing can actually do. As we saw, it's not the most accurate thing at long range, so I am probably five yards away from that watermelon on the table, and I am terrified of ricochets right now. But we've got to try it. It's just a golf ball. What's the worst that could happen, right? I probably shouldn't have said that. Darwin Award incoming. What? So not only did it go through, it exploded the watermelon like a high-powered rifle would. That is crazy. Well, I was looking down the hill behind our watermelon and I think I might see the golf ball. I'm probably gonna slip on my way down here, but Hey, I made it. Yep, that's our golf ball laying on the ground right there. So, you can see it's obviously still intact. It looks like it's probably 25 yards behind where our table's at, which tells me the watermelon did slow the golf ball down quite a bit, but it clearly blew right through that thing, which is not what I expected. Well, since the watermelon test went so well, let's try something a little harder. Now we have a pumpkin on the table. They were all out of orange ones, so I had to get one of the weird white ones. And apparently I'm not satisfied unless I injure myself, so. Let's see if it goes through. We got the hollow sun on there. It's coming in handy. I put the bottom notch right on the watermelon and that's exactly where it went, so. We'll try the same thing with this. These are a little thicker than a watermelon. <laughs> Dude. Straight through that thing. And check it out. Straight through one side and out the other. Well, I don't see that golf ball anywhere. I'm sure it's somewhere down there in the leaves, but apparently I radically underestimated the golf ball cannon because I was expecting to get ricochets off most of these targets. And so far it has blown through everything. Wow. So even just based off what we've seen so far, I obviously can't say that it would be like a lethal self-defense tool yet, but no doubt about it, it would do some damage. And if the shot was placed correctly, it could probably do some serious damage. All right, let's try a two liter. This one probably scares me the most because if it doesn't go through, it's just gonna trampoline off of that thing and come right back at me. But we gotta do it for the internet. Please go through. We're 
Three for three, boys. And there's our two liter. It doesn't look like it passed all the way through. It looks like it just hit the front and completely exploded that thing. And you can see exactly where that golf ball hit. All right, guys, now it's time for the only test that really matters, the self-defense test on a ballistic dummy lab head. This will tell us once and for all if the golf ball cannon is actually a lethal self-defense tool. I've got it screwed into the table. I think I might shoot this one at point blank range, basically, because if I shoot it from five to 10 yards away and it doesn't go through, it's definitely coming back at me. And there's a pretty high likelihood that it will not go through this. So I've got it on the table. I might kind of hide behind this wall, angle the golf ball cannon around the corner and pull the trigger that way. But first it's Halloween. So I've got something I want to put on. Okay, that was fun, but the mask is just way too hard to talk in. So the first golf ball that hit the head was absolutely devastating. I'm sure you guys could see it, and right where the impact was, it was just completely shattered. Broken bones, you could even see into the fluid. It did not penetrate all the way into the head, which is kind of what I expected. Um, again, it is just a golf ball, but it's hard to say whether or not that would be lethal. I think it could be. At the very least, it would jack somebody up and you probably would not be awake after an impact like that i'll put it that way and as you saw broken bones just shattered skull you would definitely need some immediate medical attention by the way imagining michael myers with a golf ball cannon is absolutely hilarious no knives no suspense just pelting dudes in the forehead from 50 yards away that needs to be in the next movie. But you know what? Now I'm kind of curious if shooting the golf ball cannon at distance is actually more effective than point blank range because some of those targets we shot earlier, those golf balls were absolutely flying. And at close range, it didn't seem like they were going as fast. So for you guys, I will go ahead and risk it and we'll shoot one more at our ballistic dummy head from seven yards away. All right, guys, I want to thank Michael for coming out and taking that shot for us. And this is why I wanted to do it. It does look like when you're backed off a little bit, the golf balls are actually hitting harder. So I assume as it leaves the tube, there's probably pressure built up and it kind of propels it downrange a little bit faster than if you're like touching the muzzle of the golf ball cannon. Because to me, that definitely looked more impressive than the point blank shot. And obviously I did flip the head around so we were hitting a completely fresh side and you guys saw the result. It smoked that thing. Once again, we have broken bones um, right where the golf ball hit is just completely shattered and that one, actually did get to the fluid, split the ballistics gel quite a bit more, 
and it just looked like an overall harder impact than the one that we had over here. And again, just like I said with the last one, it's hard to say whether or not that would be lethal, but what I can tell you for sure is it would not be less lethal. This is 10 times more powerful than any beanbag rounds, rubber buckshot, any other less lethal self-defense tools I've tried are nowhere near as powerful as the golf ball cannon. And based off the damage, I think it could absolutely be lethal, so. I'm impressed. All right, guys, it's rain and I gotta go. Happy Halloween, hope y'all enjoyed it. Golf ball cannons rule, you should definitely get one. And based off our ballistic dummy head results, again, I think the golf ball cannon definitely could be lethal. Shout out to the hollow sun for coming in handy. Actually, at like five to 15 yards, you can be pretty accurate with the golf ball cannon. We hit everything we shot at. So again, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a good Halloween, stay safe. If you did like the video, please hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.